Hey folks, it's Ryan here. I was going to make another 15 buy videos by now, but alas, I didn't get an early copy of the game. I know some of you are enjoying it and having fun before I even have a chance. And yeah, I'm crying about it. Feel bad for me. Before you start typing your mean comments, I am joking. Exercise some restraint, will ya? You know what? Forget it. I'll do it for you. Fuck you, Ryan. You're not funny. Also, you look like you smell. There, I did it for you. Today's video is about a dormant IP I have fond memories of and I've had in the back of my mind for a very long time, something I would love to see either a remaster collection for or a continuation of the series for, Time Splitters. There are of course fan projects like Time Splitters Rewind, which is a kind of fan mod to incorporate elements of all three games and honor the games, but also provoke a response from the devs to say there is demand for Time Splitters 4. I don't know much about it, but I wanted to make sure I mentioned it because it is relevant to this discussion in as far as what happens with it now. And then you have the not so subtle, kind of subtle, but not really subtle HD or rather 4K remaster of Time Splitters 2 in Homefront Revolution that you are able to access if you have a specific code for it, but no official HD remaster or remake of any kind. Now I don't know much about this either, and I know, I know, I know. Ryan, you're so knowledgeable about time splitters. Come on guys, stop it. Forgetting those two items for a moment, it seems after all these years, the time has come. Publisher Deep Silver announced the other day that they are reforming, or rather refounding, Studio Free Radical Design, the developers of the previous Time Splitters titles. Deep Silver, of course, having purchased the Time Splitters IP from Crytek, who themselves acquired it from THQ's bankruptcy auction in 2018. Free Radical Design founders Steve Ellis and David Doak, programmers and designers of the original Time Splitters and co directors of 2005's Time Splitters Future Perfect, have reunited to rebuild the studio. Ellis joined THQ Nordic, known as Embracer Group, in 2019 to help plot the future course of the Time Splitters franchise. To finally be able to confirm that the studio has been formed and we have a plan for the next Time Splitters game is incredible. Ellis, Free Radical's studio development director, said in a statement, While we cannot tell you anything more at the moment, we look forward to sharing more information with you in the future. You'll also see the tweeted image from Deep Silver on the screen here, and it more or less says the same thing that I just read. Time Splitters has been long dormant for a very long time, and it could have easily been left alone. But now it's coming back, in what way we just don't know yet. They didn't have anything to share because they haven't started development yet. And it's a probably a semantic argument to make, but I'm gonna make it. Anyone saying that they have started development already, it's just incorrect. It is semantics, I know, because they are going to make one and they're saying that they are, so you're pretty much saying it's in development, but they're not doing anything yet and production has not started. But I realize I'm the only one that cares about the wording there, so I'm gonna let it go. Not really. This is how they describe their announcement. Deep Silver said the studio will commence development on the next Time Splitters game in the coming months, and is currently building out its Nottingham-based team. Deep Silver owner Coke Media, part of Embracer Group, purchased the Time Splitters intellectual property in 2018 from its previous owner Crytek. We went over this already. The original Time Splitters was released in 2000 for PlayStation 2. Two sequels, Time Splitters 2 and Time Splitters Future Perfect, followed. A fourth game and various remakes and remasters were planned, but never came to fruition. Part of the reason I think an official HD or rather 4K remaster would be welcome is that like Time Splitters Rewind, you would gauge interest in the franchise as a whole or potentially invite newcomers into the fold. Should that stop development on a new game though? No, I would argue quite the opposite in fact, but having that data from the sales of the older games being remastered would be invaluable to the development team. It would tell them if there is a demand and if not, how they capture that demand. It would also tell them maybe which direction they need to go in or how they can hold on to that excitement from the remaster. Or it, if anything else, just brings more eyes on whatever Free Radical ends up cooking up. Of course, that leaves us here now wondering what they're going to do with the franchise. Admittedly, I'm going to discredit myself here, I only have experience with a third Time Splitters game, Future Perfect, but the game left such an impression on me. I downloaded a PS2 emulator to kind of refresh my memory on that game a bit, and I played a little. The story is kind of goofy, just as I remember, it has the same energy of finding out your cousin is not actually your cousin, but an imposter sent from the future to kill you for being ugly. You might say, hey, I'm not ugly, and you're right, you're beautiful, but in the year 2401, let's just say, Paper bag that shit. It pairs you up with some interesting characters that have the same depth as that microfiber cloth you wipe your PC monitor with. One of them screaming, Old Bean! This way, Old Bean! Old Bean! To make the best of things, Old Bean! Leaves quite the impression. The gunplay was fine and forgivable for a game from 2005 running on an emulator where I used an Xbox controller for a 
PS2 emulator. But hey, today you'd probably think I was kidding when I told you how awesome this game was and showed you how fun it is to play and then you saw it and be like, huh? For me, the multiplayer is what really stood out on that game for me. Playing as crazy off the wall characters on various maps and the map creator mode letting you create your own levels. It was a blast. Any game that lets you play as a murderous gingerbread man or makes a horrifying monster say something like this. The loose says loose. The loose says loose is an absolute winner in my book. Don't believe me? Show your non-gaming friend, or significant, or insignificant others, some of the game's multiplayer characters and some of the cutscenes and watch their reactions. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Or they'll cut you off entirely and you'll come for me. In which case, I will flee the country and have to live under a new name. Ambrose. Don't misunderstand any of my criticisms of the game. Don't take them as criticisms, because I love this game. I love the goofy story, the locations, the strangely written characters. The thought of another game is just very appealing to me, even though I've only played one game in this franchise. Assuming it has that same bizarre energy that emanates from Future Perfect, I'll go back and get myself more well-versed on the series because I want to have more context as we continue the Time Splitters discussion on this channel. Of course, that is as we learn more about what the fourth game or what this game is going to look like. Now, I'll be honest with you, I really do want to drag this video out longer, but there's not much to talk about beyond this initial announcement that something will be coming at some point in time. We will clearly talk more about it then, but you can firmly put me in the camp of I'm curious and I am ready. I can't wait to see what Free Radical Design comes up with. I hope it's not dog shit, obviously, but putting in the hands of some of its original developers is a good sign that it will at least capture the same spirit of what made Time Splitters, well, the time splitters. At least the third game. I apologize I have no context for the others. Till then, we will remain interested in this development and see what comes from it. For now, I leave the discussion, or rather, lack thereof, in your hands. Are you a time splitters fan? If so, what do you make of this? Make sure to thumbs up if you like the video, or thumbs down if you don't, and after that, subscribe if you have the time. I'll see you all later, and I love you all. Maybe. The loose says loose. The loose says loose.